Hi folks, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to build a media player in your application and we will play some songs from internet. Now I, I went here to mfiles.co.uk, here you click mp3 files and from here you can choose whatever you prefer. I will just go with some classic Mozart files and I will just pick uh, three of them. So I have here my... Um, okay, I forgot one. I have here three links to mp3 files. Let's just leave them open in the browser. Now to start our application we can start a new project but it will be faster just not to rewrite everything hand so I went ahead to my my template here on github on github.com slash android slash ultimate android app template you can you can have your own template if you prefer to use other libraries but I like my libraries because I'm used to them so I will just go ahead and uh, copy this to clipboard and here in Android Studio check out project from version control github make sure you set up your uh, your github um, integration with android studio i will just paste here my um, my github repository and i'll just call this project media player uh, tutorial and I'm clicking clone. Now this should be fairly fast. Click yes. Select use default gradle or upper. Click OK. And now wait a, a little. We want to ignore this uh, GitHub for now. And let's open our project with Alt and 1. And let's go a little in the libraries. Now I have configured the library to use Java 8, Lambdas, uh, and stuff like this. So we won't use any of them for now. Pretty much we need everything from here. Uh, in fact, pretty much we don't need anything from here, but I set it up um, this one to have a nice uh, display. Let's go ahead and test it. So there you go, this is my sample application. Here you can see some examples of uh, dialogues which I already pre-written. I customize this uh, theme to to be on the colors from the movie um, The Martian with Matt Demon. I don't know if you like it or not, but I like it. Okay, so let's clean up a little here. I'm gonna delete almost anything from here with the exception of one button uh, which I will name it play mm. I'll put it play ok now we have just one button play let's get this reference to it let's delete the rest um, this get support bar set elevation makes this shadow to to disappear because um, I like I like it to be much cleaner like this I don't like shadow so much um, let's delete everything here with the exception on button play which I will leave it empty for now ok 
ok we don't need the settings activity the splash activity just shows an image and transition to the main activity here in constant we don't need uh, the base application just in it the k log we won't be using any subscribers or, or something else and the base activity if you read the fragment tutorial just uh, enable when the user press backs and the uh, back and there's a fragment present it will uh, not close the application it will just pop the back stack and uh, show the what is what is before okay let's do one more test because we uh, did it quite a few stuff so i want to make sure and we won't be using any data remote and then from the here the utils you can leave them okay so we have a actually let me modify the name Alright, so in our main activity I'm gonna just copy these links to some more. Actually I, I will make an array list of them. And let's add them one by one. Okay. We don't need anything. Okay, now we have a reference to to our um, songs so for playing we we need something called media player so let's create a media player and we have to to set the source for it and um, set data source and this data source requires you see here a context and then URI the context is main activity dot this but the URI we got URI parse and uh, let's get the first song and also this method if you click it throws on some exceptions so let's go ahead and catch them okay after you you set uh, the data source uh, you can call it prepare and then just call it start And let's go ahead and test our application. Now, I don't know if you can hear, but I can hear a uh, uh, piano sonata K333 movement one. Thing. <laughs> Great. Now you might say, Andre, but I want those buttons with uh, go forward, go next, pause and play, not just a button with play. Well, 
a very easy way to do it is with a media controller and you do like this controller and a new media controller okay and, and here we have to give it a, a context so um, main activity dot this okay and um, actually I think I have a mistake uh, I want to import the Android widget media controller okay and um, after I create these references to it I want to attach this media player to this media controller and you do it like this um, before set data source In fact, right here, media player set on prepared listener to this and uh, this reference here, we will have to implement on prepared listener on on the, our main activity. So it you, it will automatically this uh, Android Studio will automatic automatically implement it and override the method so here on on uh, on prepared we just say media controller set media player to this media controller anchor view and here we have to pass a view um, to which you want the media controller to be anchored and uh, mine is let me check it. Relay up main. And it uh, it will prompt us all to, to implement the methods for the media player. And uh, okay after we we set the anchor view we, we have to create a handler. And now this will create something that runs in the background, but uh, I guess it will it will work without. So I'm gonna show you to how to do it without. All right. So here on start on stop we have to override all our methods because uh, the media controller doesn't know what duration to display and so on And here, media player seek to pause is playing or return media player is playing and pause true can seek true seek true and this should should be it. Let's go ahead and try it. And voila, we have a media controller. But what is happening is the media controller just disappeared. Let's go ahead and fix fix it. 
so to to keep the excuse me to keep the media controller online all the time here we, where we define it let me find it uh, we need to overwrite um, the hide method and we just delete the super on hide so now our um, our media controller won't get hidden Okay. 